Good morning, everyone. My name is Samantha. I am with OnTheClock.com, and today I am going to be showing you how to use the employee punch site. So I am on www.OnTheClock.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit log in. This brings us to the login page. Since I'm an employee, I'm going to go ahead and select employee. And this is going to bring me into my login page as an employee. So in the employee login, you would just go ahead and type in your username and password. You can always check the remember me box if you want it to just auto fill in and make logging in quicker. If you have an email address and not a username and you forget your password, we do have lost password here where you're able to retrieve. So I'm going to go ahead and hit login. And that's going to bring me into my login screen as an employee. So you can see it says, hello test employee. My current status is out. That means that I am currently not punched in. It's going to give the business name up here. And it has my date for the day that I'm clocking in as well as the time. And we have a punch in button. And then we also have this reset down here. So there is a countdown going on, and what's gonna happen is when I punch in, the countdown is gonna reset. So I'm gonna land on a success to let me know that I've successfully punched in, and you can see that it's counting down. And now it automatically logs me out. And that is for security purposes. That is so that somebody else cannot come in and punch in on your behalf. So I'm gonna go ahead and log back in. So now you'll see my status has changed. I'm currently punched in. And up at the top, you're going to notice a couple different things that you can select from as an employee. Some employers might turn on a check-in feature. If you have this feature, you could check in instead of punching in and out. The check-in is similar to the punch in and out. So we have a check-in button and you also have a countdown. What the check-in is going to allow you to do is to just stamp a time signature and basically say, hey, I am still at work. And you can just check in throughout the day. Up at the top next to check-in, we have my time card. This is where you're going to be able to view your time card. In here, you'll see we have some time card entries. And it does tell you the time that you punched in and the time you punched out, as well as your total hours. Next to that, we have a schedule. If your employer did publish out a work schedule, you'll be able to view that here. You can select your date range. And you'll be able to see your name as well as the shifts that you are supposed to be working. So we can see that Monday, February 3rd, I'm scheduled to work 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday, February 4th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But you notice there's a location listed here. It says Detroit, so I am scheduled to be working in Detroit. And we can see that this schedule was published to me on 131. Next to my schedule, we have PTO which stands for paid time off. So this is where you would request vacation, holiday, sick, or personal time. Depending on the category that your employer turned on, you're gonna see that listed here. So we can see that vacation is on for me. I have 40 available, 40 remaining. I have a summary of the PTO that I've used. And then I have a category for PTO requests. I'm able to click request PTO and submit a request over to my manager for them to approve or deny. And when I log in, I'll actually see all the statuses below under PTO requests. Next, I have add hours. If you do have manual time entry and adjustment capabilities, you may see adding hours up in the corner here. For this particular one, I can just add in how many hours I worked for the day. I could leave a note. If I had customer projects and test selections, I could leave those here as well. And then I would just hit save. Another thing, if you do have manual time entry and adjustment on, you might see an add day here where you can actually click this, select a date, and then you can actually add punch in and out times for your day. Another thing, if you do have manual time entry and adjustment on, you'll see that you have editing capabilities of your time cards. So if something was incorrect, you could always edit this And change what you need to change and then we hit save and it's going to go ahead and update my time card you can also print a copy of your time card from here 
so you can save this and then print this out for your own records. And that is all the things that you can do as an employee. Over here we can log out. And that concludes the employee punch site for OnTheClock.com. Thank you.